I'm here to make sure you don't mess up your fantasy draft this year. I'm going to give you what your first two rounds should look like in your fantasy draft. Now, this is a 10-person PPR standard snake draft, okay? If you don't know PPR, that's points per reception, so receivers and some receiving running backs are going to be ranked a little higher. But this is exactly how this year's first two rounds should go. Let's jump into it. I'm very open on saying that this guy should be your first overall pick, especially in PPR leagues. I think the situation got better. I know Addison is on the team. I know Thielen left. Guess what? He is the number one guy. I think he's going to be even better after the catch. Alexander Mattinson is going to bring a new tone to this offense, and I really think the young kid, Addison, is just going to make him even better. So, first overall pick in your PPR league should be Justin Jefferson. That's following up with your number two, and we're going to stick at receiver. Jamar Chase. Why? That team is absolutely loaded. You got Joe Burrow. These two are the top every single year. You got to go back to back. You got to go Justin and Jamar. Uh, and then we're finally going to switch this up in the third overall pick. No, I did not pick these names, so don't roast me for it. Um, these were auto-generated, so shake it golf. I didn't choose that. Pretty clever, but yes, I agree with this. I think it should be Christian McCaffrey. Why? Look what McCaffrey did with Brock Purdy, some injured QBs over there. They got a healthy team now. All right, you got Lance, you got Purdy. They're both going to be presumably healthy, okay? McCaffrey is him. We all know that. He's the number one running back when he's healthy. You got to take the chance. Why? He's going to win you the league. He can easily win you the league, especially PPR. He's a PPR machine. This guy gets like anywhere from three to seven receptions a game. I can tell you right now he's going to get you five points right off of receptions every single game. Every game and every year he ta it feels like this man takes a freaking screen pass to the end zone at any moment. Let him do his thing. Other one who flew up my list at number four. This is where things started getting a little tricky for me. But you got to look at the history of the NFL. What do I mean by that? Watch people. Watch players. I don't know what's up with my hair. Watch players that are in contract years. Austin Eckler. It is known he's going to move on from the Chargers next year. He, PPR machine, the amount of touchdowns, I want to say it's like 60 or something in the past two years. Mike Williams, Keenan Allen, always hurt. He was the leading receiver on that team for a while, and I'll be shocked if he's not again. So, with your fourth overall pick, it better be Austin Eckler. Moving on, I think this team is going to make a little bit of a resurgence this year. Hard Nick Chubb. You got Jonathan Taylor. I do like Bijan. Now you come here. Look at the receivers. Mm, these four right here, you can't go wrong with. But when he's healthy, you gotta go Cooper Cup. The man was wide receiver one two years ago. He was injured last year. You know this team's gonna start bouncing back. Gotta go with Cooper Cup. Have to go with Cooper Cup here. Moving on to pick number. Six. Here he is. Okay. Before Tyreek, before Stefan. Yeah, well, you better not draft the QB yet in the first round. There he goes. First tight end off the board. And you can grab him even before Cooper Cup. It all depends on who you're high on here. But this is where Kelsey should go. We all know what Travis Kelsey does. We all know what Mahomes does. These two are filthy. Get Kelsey. Touchdown machine, PPR machine, yards after catch, clear number one tight end in the league. That's how you got to do it. Okay, now we got the chance. Now, this is where you kind of have the option. So, do we like the big play here with, with Tyreek Hill? How do we feel about A.J. Brown? 
this is where our option lies, okay? Or it's PPR. So do you either want Nick Chubb, Jonathan Taylor, or Bijan? Now, I like Bijan in this position, but Tyler Allergier kind of scares me a little bit. With that being said, I'm going to go with the man in Cleveland now. I got to go Nick Chubb. Um, unfortunately, Run CMC is up here, and, uh, well, he's not on the board. So where does that leave us? Once again, PPR. Apparently, he's making a bounce back year. I know we got to knock on wood here. Hope Tua is healthy for the whole season because – that obviously affected Tyreek's output. But Tyreek has to go here. Tyreek. We're on pick number nine. Sony side up. I gotta I gotta pick him. I can't really wait much longer. Um Yeah. I, you gotta believe in him. Gotta believe he's gonna stay healthy. Jonathan Taylor. Believe he's going to stay healthy. If he's healthy, he easily could be RB1. I like him with Anthony Richardson. I like that offense. I like their offensive line, but I like their new look offense. Got to grab Jonathan Taylor first round. Gronky Kong. End of round one. We have... I am going to put Stephon Diggs. Why? I think them drafting Dalton Kincaid to the Bills um, only really helps Stephon Diggs. It's going to get some pressure off of him, get some looks off of him. We all know what he does with Josh Allen. Don't worry about all the bull crap that happened with him in the offseason. Um, he's going to play. So right there, you have it. You have Stephon Diggs. And then moving on, first pick of the next round. I'm actually, I may take CeeDee Lamb over A.J. Brown here. Let's take a look at our running backs. No, I'm not. B. John Robinson's going to go here. I think he's going to be RB1. I know him and Algier are going to split time. To me, that tells me he's just going to stay healthy. If you watched B. John in college, whoa. Like, whoa. Kid's crazy. He's going to be a PPR machine. He's going to be on the passing downs over Allergier. He's going to get you points. Now we're going over to CD Lamb. Why did I take CD Lamb over AJ Brown? Well, I just think there's better weapons on the Eagles than the. Cowboys. I think CeeDee Lamb's going to get more looks. That That's really... That was really my thought process. That's literally the only reason of my thought process. Now, third pick in the second round. You already had Tyreek Hill. Do we need another big receiver? A.J. Brown could be him. Once again, PPR. You got to take Tony Pollard in this situation. Paul's going to come off the board here because look what he did with Zeke. Zeke was a, a receiving back. Now he's the only man there. I know they got, I believe they have um, Deuce Vaughn, but he's not going to take away from Pollard's catches. He's just not. We have to see where Henry's going to come off the board. I don't know if it's going to be top of the second round or middle of the second round here, but this next one's pretty easy for me. I'm taking A.J. Brown. You guys are probably sitting here like, holy shit, Devontae Adams is still on the board. I'm not sold on that Raiders offensive line. I know they weren't that good last year. They also just get rid of Darren Waller, meaning more and more and more attention on Devontae Adams. Don't worry, he's going to be going shortly. But PPR, I know he's going to get the targets. He also doesn't have Carr. He got Jimmy G. But, don't worry. He's going to go right after A.J. Brown. He's going to get the targets. He's going to get the catches. At the end of the day, it's Devontae freaking Adams. 
I get it. But that's where he should go. Now he's got to come off the board. I can't wait any longer. Oh. Derek Henry is Derek Henry. It's Derek Henry. He's going to put up 20 to 25 point games no matter what here and there. It's going to happen. And guess what? DeAndre Hopkins just helped him. I don't care if this is PPR or not. They just got D Hop. Meaning, you can't stack the run. You can't. Coming around here. Guys, where do you say our first QB goes off the board? We'll figure it out soon. Moving on here. Oh, I think George Kittle should come off the board right around here. You got Austin Eckler and George Kittle. Your team is looking nasty to start. I think he's tight end too when it comes to PPR. I know Hawkinson and Andrews are ranked higher than him on whatever this platform is. But it's George Kittle. He's nasty after the catch. He's got to stay healthy. And right here, that's a PPR nightmare for whoever you're facing. Now, we got Shake It back up with Shake It Golf. We got McCaffrey. So, we could go Brees Hall here. I like him, and I'm high on Stevenson this year as well. But that's who I'm a little higher on. Travis Etienne, that offense is stacked. Keep him healthy. Looked good. There you go. That was easy pick for Anthony. Two tones. My name's Anthony. Two tones. Whatever. Me talking in third person. Um, we're going to take a look. Who do we have at wide receiver? I really am high on Garrett Wilson. We already got a receiver, though. Mm, could go Brees. That's it. I'm going to I'm gonna pick the rookie. Or not the rookie, the second-year player. Brees Hall out of the Jets coming off the board right there. PPR machine. All these guys in the top two rounds, think about receptions. How many targets are they going to get? How much do they bring in? What's the potential here? And this last one, to round it off, Mark Andrews. Within these first three or four picks, you probably should see Mahomes come off the board. Um, but once again, like you're going to be looking up for the high output QBs. You're going to go Mahomes. You're going to go Hurts. You're going to go Lamar. Richardson should be up there. Herbert should be up there. Like, you don't need to go high pick on Mahomes. Yeah, I get it. He's going to put up the numbers. But you need to focus on these positions that are really going to dig deep. Like, realistically, Garrett Wills should come off the board here. Waddle should. St. Brown should. Um, Kenneth Walker, I'm high on. Najee. I mean, realistically, these these two should be gone within the next five picks. Um, you probably have Mahomes and Allen coming off the board at some point in this round. And uh, I wouldn't be shocked if these guys go within the next round and a half as well. But this is really how your first two rounds should go. Um, I'm higher on Eckler because he's contract year. I'm high on, obviously, Tony Pollard. It's got the whole offense to him now. I'm also very high on Cooper Cup. Don't worry about last year. It's Cooper Cup. But, once again, guys, two-tone sports. Hit me in the comments below. How did your first two rounds go? And who did you guys draft with your first two picks? Let me hear some of your guys' fantasy teams. I love to hear this. And would any of you be interested in joining a fantasy draft if I hold one? I don't know. Let's look into it. Let's talk about it. But once again, guys, two-tone sports here. Thank you as always for watching.